All right, guys, welcome back. And this is actually our last lesson in this patterns and equations unit. And again, like I always say, let's get started right away. So here we have a problem. For a charity, Brady is packing Christmas shoe boxes for poverty-stricken children overseas. Brady has 48 toys for the shoe boxes. He puts six toys in each box. How many shoe boxes will have toys? So last lesson we worked a lot about on uh, addition and subtraction and actually to give you a spoiler we're going to be working a lot on multiplication and division with equations and just like I said in the last les lesson uh, multiplication and division are inverse of each other that means they're kind of backwards to each other they're, they're kind of cousins right just like an addition question and subtraction question are, are related you can you can rewrite it to go the opposite operation, you can do the same thing for multiplication and division. So Rita watched the first snow of the season fall outside her window. Each hour, three centimeters of snow fell. The total snowfall was 15 centimeters. For how many hours did it snow? And so we're gonna write an equation to solve this problem and we're gonna use H, I guess for hour, uh, to represent the number of hours that it snowed. So there's three equations we can write to solve this problem. We can use multiplication. And we know that the total number, total amount of snowfall is going to equal the snow that fell in one hour times the number of hours it snowed. And so remember in our, la in our problem, we know some things. We know the total number of snowfall, which is the total, is 15 centimeters. And we know each hour, three centimeters of snow fell. So we can say that 15, the total, you know, and I have used colors here. So the total number of, of snowfall, 15 centimeters, is going to equal the amount that fell in one hour, which was three centimeters, that's the green, times H. And if you remember me saying earlier, we can't, you know, we can't with letters and variables write three times uh, H because this looks like an X. So we write... 3h. We put it right beside the number and we need to know and memorize and remember that when I see a, a number beside a letter I'm going to multiply. So 15 equals 3h and so to solve this equation I think which number do we multiply 3 by to get 15 and we know that 3 times 5 equals 15 so h has got to equal 5. Now we can also solve this using division and we can use the number of hours it snowed which equals the total snowfall divided by snow that falls in one hour. Uh, in other words, remember, we knew we know that the total snowfall is 15. We know the amount that fell in that one hour, which was three centimeters. That will get us our H. Blue has been our H here. So H equals 15 divided by three. Um, again, 15 divided by three, if you know these facts, H equals five. And then lastly, an equation we can make is the snowfall that, that fell in one hour, which was three centimeters, will equal the total snowfall, which was 15 centimeters, divided by the number of hours it snowed, which we don't know. That's the blue. So 15 divided by H equals three. Um, it's the same thing as saying 15 divided by three equals five. Or related is 15 divided by five equals three. It's very related. It's kind of what we're doing here. And to solve this, I think, oh, why do I need to divide? Um, 15 by the 3 and H equals 5. So I know the snow fell for 5 hours. Alright, so for a Christmas party, Jacob had to bring cookies. He has 4 packages of cookies to share. Each package has 1 dozen cookies. How many cookies does Jacob have all together? Well, the first thing we need to do is pick a variable and then write an equation. So maybe we could use C for cookie. Okay. And one other thing is we need to know where this word dozen and that word means 12 okay so that piece of information is very important so he has four packages of cookies to share each package has one dozen cookies how many cookies does he have all together so I have four packages of cookies and each one has a dozen and I'm gonna say that equals my C okay uh, my C equals how many cookies uh, knowing my multiplication facts 4 times 12 um, equals, so C equals 48, so um, to write a sentence here, Jacob has 48 cookies. Okay, uh, Clara picked apples for one week. Each day she picked four buckets of apples. How many buckets did Clara pick in seven days? Again, we're going to pick a variable 
and then write an equation. So because it's buckets and, and it's about buckets, not apples, I'm gonna use B in this situation. So each day she picked four buckets of apples, okay? And it's about one week, a week is seven days, tells us here, seven days. So we're gonna multiply this to find out what B is. And again, knowing our multiplication facts, four times seven equals 28. So in the one week, Claire, picked 28 buckets in sorry in seven days as it said i'm gonna get you to try this one tom was making some very large pizzas he needed to make five pizzas he has 60 pieces of pepperoni for all the pizzas if he distributes that that um, pepperoni equally that means he's going to put the same number of pepperoni pieces on each pizza how many pieces of pepperoni will be on each pizza so first we're going to pick a variable and then we're going to write some equations so i'd like you to pick a variable what letter are you going to use and then i'd like you to write an equation to solve the problem all right so pizza pepperoni both are p so p is our variable and so I, he needs to make five pizzas, okay, and 60 pieces of pepperoni. So for me, uh, I like to start here, um, 60, and he has five um, pizzas, and that's, he's got to figure out what is going to go on each pizza there. So 60 divided by five. Now I could rewrite this if I'm not as good with division, um, P um and five so p times five five p equals 60 so five times something equals 60 well i know that five times 12 equals 60 so tom will need to use 12 pieces of pepperoni her pizza. Period. And one last one for you to try. Sharon went jogging. She wanted to measure her heart rate for one minute. At the end of one minute, she counted 120 beats of her heart. How many times did her heart beat each second? First, again, I'd like you to think of a variable, then write an equation. Now, I am trying to trick you a little bit in this, um, so watch for that. And so pause it there and come back when you have an answer. Okay, um, so what I'm trying to trick you with is I asked how many beats per second and I used, so I used a unit of a second and I used a minute. So what is the relationship between minutes and seconds? Well, there is 60 seconds in a minute. So I think that might be important information. Um, so she had a, we're gonna need a variable. So uh, uh, because it's heartbeats, let's go with beats, B again for for beats so she had 120 beats of her heart in the one minute how many times did it beat our beat so if there's 60 seconds we're going to divide 120 divided by 60 and so if i don't know that 60 times b or 60b well, it kind of look, it kind of look like bob there 60b um equals 120 it's the other way writing it uh, 60 times 2 equals 120 so eat her heart beat two times per second um, each second her heart beat twice or two times All right, that's it. And um, we had some really, some very, you know, common problems. We had a cooking problem, we had a jogging problem, we have time. So just please remember, in life, math happens. I'll see you in the next unit.